Hi, my name's Mo and I'd like to welcome you to my channel Hallabaloo. In this video, I'll show you how you can use Affinity Photo to change the eye and lip colour of the model in this photo. If you'd like to follow along, then there is a link in the description below to the same photo. First, I'll use a zoom tool and click on the model's eye a few times to zoom in. Next, I'll select the selection brush tool and using the left and right bracket keys, I can make my selection area smaller or larger. I can now click on the eye to select it. If you accidentally select an area you're not supposed to, like I have, then you can hold the Alt key and click on the area you want to deselect. Next, if you're on a Mac, press Alt, Command and R, or if you're on a Windows machine, Press Alt, Control and R to open the Refine Selection window. From here, I'm going to enter 20 pixels for the Smooth option and 5 pixels for the Feather option. You can of course change these values depending upon your preference. Now hit Apply and you'll notice the selection is much smoother and refined. Next, we're going to head over to the Adjustment panel and select Recolor to change the eye colour. For the Hue setting, I'm going to enter the value 200 to give us a nice blue colour. And for the Saturation value, I'm going to change it to 40% to make it look a bit more realistic. Close the window and press Command or Control D to deselect the eye. Next, I will select the brush tool. Make sure the color black is selected and that opacity and flow are set to 100% and hardness is at 0%. I can now paint over the eyelashes and the eyelid to clean up the image. I will now repeat this entire process for the second eye. I will speed up the video here. I'll now select the zoom tool and whilst holding down the alt key I can click a few times on the photo to zoom out. Here we can see a before and after of what we have just done. Finally I'm going to work on the lips using the same method we use for the eyes. Again, I will speed up this part. Now with the lip selected, we're going to head over to the adjustment panel and select recolor to change the lip color. I'll keep the hue setting the same as I'm happy with the red color. I'm only going to change the saturation value to 40%. Once again, press command or control D to deselect. So there you go. A before and after. I hope you agree the effect looks great and was fairly easy to do in Affinity Photo. If you found this tutorial useful then please like it and consider subscribing. Until next time take care and hope to see you all again soon.